Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have another behind the scenes video for you guys today. I'm shooting beautiful model Hayden and I'm back in the shed. I know you guys really liked the first video I did in the shed, so I decided to come back to it and take some more pictures here. But before we start, I wanted to share an amazing deal on photography courses on 5daydeals.com. From October 15th till October 20th, you can purchase photography course bundles, including hundreds of presets and actions for a crazy discounted price, up to 96% off. All courses are from reputable, amazing photographers like Laura Jade, Jessica Drossen, Joel Grimes, Peter Hurley, and many, many more. You can choose between the main, pro, and the complete bundle, and they are all a steal. Plus, 10% of the proceeds goes to the charity, so it's a win-win for everyone. If you are interested in the bundles, check out the link in the description. If you buy through my link, you are also helping to support my channel. So happy shopping, and let's get back into the video. For this photo shoot, I was really inspired by Hayden's freckles. I've been admiring the work of Agatha Serge. Hopefully I'm saying that correct. She does a lot of work with freckles and really enhancing them and bringing them out. So I wanted to try to get a similar result, but obviously in my own way. I set up a simple textured backdrop and I chose an off-shoulder dress because we're going to be doing a lot of portraits and I love when the shoulders and the collarbones are showing in close-up portraits. We decided to do very minimal makeup and pretty much no foundation so I can see all of the freckles really, really well. Shooting in the shed gives really beautiful, soft, directional light with a lot of shade on the sides and in the background. Highly recommend you guys try it out if you don't have a shed. A garage door also works really well or even just an open door to your house would work good but you won't have as much space, obviously. I also used my reflector a lot here. It just helps to bring a nice catch light to the eye and balance out the light let's try the fans let's try this guy so you can you could do just like holding it like this or you can try you know opening it up and stuff so you can see yeah, yeah. yes oh look that way Yes, you know what? It's really nice. Actually, let's do the one where you know it's like half of your face like closed with the... Or maybe just... Like Ooh, that's cool. I like <laughs> that. But let's do it on the other side maybe. Let's see. Kind of like... Is, is that cheesy? Let's see. No, we got to do it on the other side actually, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. <gasps> yes, that's really pretty. Okay, the only thing is that there's that light, that one line. Is that covering it? Yeah. So uh, keep it closer to your face and then move this side of the body to. Yeah, 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 exactly. And don't cover too much of your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Okay, and now just do it normally, like kind of this way. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of play around with the way you place it. Maybe not, don't cover your face with it. Just kind of, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, that's really nice. Yeah, oh my god. Wow. <gasps> that is so beautiful. Wow, 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 that is perfect. That is a perfect shot. If you're wondering why I shot ISO 400, it was actually a mistake. The setting was left on my camera after I was using it as a light meter to check the lighting for my film. I usually shoot Portra 400, so that's why it stayed ISO 400. Oops. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's really nice. And we have some sun again. Mm-hmm. What if you, so instead of going like on the side, you just hold it like like this, yeah, yeah, and do it with maybe, oh, yeah, one hand like on top and one, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. That's gorgeous. 
move. Yeah, yeah, don't move, don't move, don't move. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes, that's really nice. Bring it even higher, uh, the fan. But not on the side, uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try the other fan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pretend you're like fanning yourself. So it's like kind of, yeah, like freezing the motion. Yeah, yes. And turn it slightly towards me. Yes. So kind of like, um, so like when you were doing this, but kind of slightly towards me, you know okay. what I mean? That's beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. <gasps> love, love, love. And look to the side, maybe the other side. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wow, 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 wow. That is so gorgeous. So for the next look, I decided to try out this outfit that kind of reminded me of the Three Musketeers. All of the pieces are thrifted. The jacket is from the 80s, same as the blouse. The hat I thrifted a long, long time ago. I never found a good opportunity to use it. And then I also decided to change the backdrop for this kind of purpley bluish one. Ooh, gorgeous. Yeah, you know what? The hat, okay, I thought it's gonna be ridiculous, but it looks actually really good. Yes, yes. It made it make sense. <laughs> or at least a little bit more sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. And don't worry about changing the pose like all the time. Like you can just like, let's say, keep this pose and just slightly move the face a little bit. So yeah, 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 yeah. I actually really love this. Yes, <gasps> I love that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so do this and then even more kind of like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> That's gorgeous. Yes. quickly look at them i kind of want to try a different backdrop because this one is a little bit short i have this uh maybe something more contrasting like the yellow one by the way if you guys are interested in the backdrops that i use i always list the links to them in the description down below plus i give you guys a discount code for these backdrops so go ahead and check that out Oh, right, I have these yellow roses that just bloomed. Mm. Maybe I'll have you like hold one. Yeah, you know, let's fucking do it. I'm gonna just cut the rose. Give me one sec. It smells so nice. Ooh, yeah, that, that looks really pretty. Ooh, it does smell nice. <laughs> That's really sweet. You want it more by the face? Or? Like maybe as if you're like, yeah, yeah. And look at me. Mm hmm Yes, that's really nice. Kind of want 
take one like of you yeah I, that's really really beautiful just your hand there yeah Mm-hmm. Wow, that's gorgeous. At the end, I took some pictures out of the shed. I positioned the backdrop in the way that the light hits the back of the model, backlighting her hair really beautifully. And then I used a reflector to kind of balance out some of that light. But I'm not really sure about this final result. What do you guys think? I just feel like something is really overpowering here. Like it's too many things at the same time. Uh, I don't know if I've been just staring at this picture for too long. I would love to know your opinions about this last image because I'm really torn about it but this is it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it give it a like subscribe to my channel check out Hayden's Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next one bye